Hey, hey everybody, Jason here, and I'm back with another quick video for you guys today. Today we've got a question on Facebook from Tim. Tim writes, so here's an interesting question. How much tuning with the vent holes in the wheels do most pros do, if any? I don't mean with the holes they punch in the tire, I mean on the wheel side. I've been testing this lately, myself, on my short course truck, and I find I can achieve decent results softening and stiffening my tire by varying the vent hole size. Well, Tim, I'll try not to make this answer too long and too, you know, too long winded, but here, here's the short answer. As far as I can tell, every pro pretty much has their own opinion. A lot of these guys, some of these guys punch holes in the tire only. Some of them do it in the wheel only. Some of them do it in both. We've done a variety of different testing on this particular topic here at Raw Speed after my team manager brought this issue up back to the stock nats. And I can tell you that for me, traditionally, I've always punched holes in the wheel when I'm racing indoor because we put tire sauce and we're continually washing the tires and I was trying to keep that stuff out of the foam. And then when I race outdoor, like eight scale, I only punch holes in the tire itself because I didn't want to get dirt and dust trapped underneath the foam, between the wheel and the foam, because it can really make things get out of balance really quickly. Now my attitude has changed since we've done a little bit of testing. There's no question that if you have a tire that fits the foam snugly if there's any if there's any real compression if the tire compresses the foam your probably best bet is probably to put holes in the wheels now when i do holes in the wheels it's usually just like two four to six millimeter holes nothing huge but you're probably it would probably be a good idea if you stuck a couple of holes in the edges of the tires at some point and just be careful when you're washing them we just found that even with some holes in the wheels you could spin the tire up really fast to get it to balloon and then when you lift off the throttle all the air wouldn't be evacuated out of the whole system. So that's pretty much what we found. I hope this answers your question. You know, there are so many, I know that you're talking about tuning and some of the more sophisticated options, but I will tell you there are so many different ways to change the way these cars behave on track. Just choosing the right tire can be a challenge in and of itself once in a while. So by the time you get to tire selection, springs, oil, roll centers, weight bias, slipper settings, diff settings, all these different things. There's just so much to test. Maybe someday people will get to the point where we have the budgets to go out and test super sophisticated, just these finely tuned details. But at this point, I can tell you that it seems to be more of a habit for most of these guys than anything else. So hope you enjoyed my answer. I appreciate you guys asking questions. Tim, thank you very much. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.